Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my channel Learn Math with Sayyid Ali. Today we will be solving some uh, rational expressions and these rational expressions you have been uh, doing like from grade 8, 9 and 10 even in grade 11 we have these questions as a part of EQOA. So we start from first question. So question is 36 x cube minus 36 x cube divided by 42 x square so we have to keep negative sign as it is and then we see that which table is uh, going through in 36 and 42 so we can start with 2 as well but we can take the bigger number as well it's up to you so if you take table of 6 6 6 are 36 and 6 7 is a 42 and for exponent rule, you know that the denominator exponent uh, come into the um, numerator as a subtraction. So division act as a subtraction in exponent rule and multiplication act as an addition in uh, exponent rule. So this is what we have minus uh, 6 over 7 and x power 1. So x power 1 we did not write. So that, that's our simplified form, right? So we have to simplify each time um, according to the question. So second question, 16R square divided by 16R cube. Again, 16, 16 cancel in this question. Now we are left with R2 minus, R power 2 minus 3 because this denominator comes up as the negative. And then we have R to the power minus 1, right? But we don't want to see the minus exponent so we can say that if we transform it to the denominator it becomes positive power and plus one sign we do not write so my answer is one over r so question number three 16p square over 28p Right. So we can see again the table who, uh, which is passing through 16 and 28. If we go for like table of 4, we can say that 4, 4 is a 16 and 4, 7 is a 28. And P power 2 minus 1, which is 4 over 7, P to the power 1. We do not write 1 because it remains same. So 4, 4 over 7, P is your answer. Next question. Question number four, we have 16p square over 28p. You have to find out certain number which is passing through 16 and 28 simultaneously. You can start with uh, uh, four again. Oh, this one we did, I think. 16p square, oh, this is the same thing. So we can take another one. Question number four, 32n square divided by 24 n now we have to take certain number 8 times 4 is 32 and 8 times 3 is 24 and n is 2 minus 1 so 4 over 3 n to the power 1 we do not write 1 so that is our answer we have to equate it because we did not change anything we just apply the rules of simplification right so now question number 5 what we have 70 minus 70 n square over 28 n. So again, you have to see uh, if you remember 14th time table, it is very easy for you. So 14 times 5 is 70 and 14 times 2 is this 28. So n 2 minus 1. And if it is 2 minus 1, you will be having n, right? So you have this, this, this. All right, question number six. So now we have 15n over 30n cube. What we can say, we have to find out a number which is 15. So 15 times one is 15 and 15 times two is 30. So one over two. And we see that, if we see that, like if we bring this three power, like one minus three, 
so we will be having n to the power minus 2 but we don't want to see minus exponent so this will be going into the denominator and our answer will be uh, 1 over 2 n square hope you understand this right now we come to the bigger question these are the simply uh, this is a simple relationship which we reduce to the simplified form or we say that simplify each rational expression anything can be written like this in the exam right simplify rational expression simplify the following right so we did six of them now we go to seven seven is 2r minus 4 over r minus 2 so this time we have to take common because we are seeing that 2r minus 4 can give away you 2 as a common and if 2 is common then 2 to the 4 divided by r minus 2 and we can say that r minus 2 get cancelled with r minus 2 so you are left with only 2 so your answer is 2 all right then question number 8 now you are you are having 45 divided by 10 a minus 10 so you can say that 10 in the denominator is common and left over is a minus 1 in the bracket and then we can cut these two numbers which is uh, which is 10 and 45 so 5 is the number 5 9 is a 45 and 5 to the 10 so you are left with 9 over 2 times a minus 1 right a minus 1 so this is your answer then we have question number 9 x minus 4 divided by 3x square minus 12x what we can do in the denominator that we have something common so 3x is common if 3x is common left over is x minus 3 times 4 is 12 4 and x is gone already so this is left over in the bracket x minus 4 cancels with x minus 4 so you are left over with 1 over 3x right question number 10 15 a minus 3 divided by 24 so you can see in the numerator we can take out 5 as a com 3 as a common so 3 5 is a 15 5 a minus 1 3 is common so left over is 1 denominator is 28 and we can see that 3 and 24 are in the table of 3 3 times 1 is 3 3 times 8 is 24 so my answer is 5a minus 1 divided by 8. Question number 11. v minus 5 divided by v square minus 10v plus 25. Here now we have denominator in a complex form and we can break this into four factors right we did that before but we are reviewing it again so 25 you have to break 25 right we do this like well, 1 times 25 is 25 and then you have to break 25 in such a way that you get the middle term by adding or subtracting so if my factors are 5 times 5 is 25 so I am seeing that if I put both of them as minus then I can get minus 10 because if I add minus 5 in minus 5 I will get minus 10 right so these are my factors so I can put it in here so v minus 5 over v square minus 5v minus 5v plus 25 I did not change anything by doing this I just change the uh, form in four factors instead of three and then I can take common from the denominator so v minus 5 is there I can take common from these two and then these two pair up so v is common v minus 5 and again minus 5 is common v minus 5 right and we know that if these these brackets can be written as 1 so v minus 5 divided by v minus 5 and v minus 5 
So 1 of the v minus 5 cancels with this and we are left over with 1 over v minus 5. This is my answer. Right? So by, by breaking this three terms into four terms and taking common, we can simplify the rational equation or rational numbers, right? Or rational expressions. So question number 12, maybe the last question of this lecture, x plus 6, x squared plus 5x minus 6. Again, the same thing, the denominator you can break into four so that you can group them in two and take some common. So when we multiply one with six, you have minus six. So you have to break six and six ones are six is your factor. If you have six times one is six, now you have to see the sign. And if you see six minus one is five. So this is my factor, six and minus one. So I can write here x square plus six x minus one x minus six, right? And then I can take common in the denominator. So what is common? So pair up, we pair up it by two. And then we see that in x square plus x plus six x is x common and left over in the bracket is x plus six. And then minus one is common, left over in the bracket should be same as before. So it's x plus six. And then we say that whatever is common, we write it in the one bracket and whatever left over is in the second bracket. Now I can see that x plus six cancels with x plus six, so you are left over with only one over x minus one, which is your answer. So this is just by practice and you can practice it like uh, a lot more by writing down the questions. I will write down the questions in, in, in description. You can take over the question from description and then solve them. So if you like it, subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon button to get the next video. Thank you for watching.